The Bronx Jewish community will celebrate the most influential rabbi in modern history. Here now to tell us a little bit more about this important event, we're here to be joined by Rabbi Sadia Pesner, and we're thanking you so much for coming and sharing with us. Thank you so much for having us. It's, oh. uh, it's really, really appreciated. It's, it's a good time, and uh, I know this is a great celebration. As we said, it's the 24th anniversary of Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, and for people who don't know about Rabbi Schneerson, let us know. Rabbi Schneerson was born in Nikolai, Ukraine, in the year 1902. And he immigrated to America in 1941 to escape the war in, in Europe. And he came to 1941 to America, which was, you know, a big Jewish community, but obviously broken from all the Holocaust and all, all the bad that was going on. And in 1950, he assumed the mantle of the Chabad Lubavitch uh, movement, the leadership. His father in law passed, the, his predecessor passed, and he assumed the mantle of leadership. And he, uh, when taking the mantle of leadership, he told his followers, you know, many Jewish communities were, you know, getting together, trying to build up, you know, make a strong, you know, strong, uh, strong home, 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 home base. He said no to his followers. We're going to go out to the world, spread the good, uh, good message. Each one of even young men, 24, 25, you're going to go all over the world. My, you know, my grandfather was sent to Morocco. I have another grandfather that was sent to Paris. And they wanted to come, you know, spend the time, you know, grow their families. He said, no, his message is that you have something great to offer and you have to send positivity, you know, uh, you know, you know, build, build schools, build places just to help people with, they, they, you know, simple things that they need, humanitarian, it's not just about, just about religion, care about their everyday needs, and he spread, he spread this message. In 1950, when he started, there was only a couple of people that went all over. Mm -hmm. Now, there's over 4,000 emissaries, over 2,000 centers, the Chabad Lubavitch movement has, and it's, it's just spreading around, and it's a simple thing, uh, simply from the, from the Rebbe's influence that you, you not just you know be happy with yourself look to influence and help others and, and the appreciation of other people so uh, with the Rebbe's passing how has it inspired a lot of people today it inspires a lot of people today if you look at the Rebbe's life and, and there's many uh, you, know, you could go online the Chabad.org has many videos about the uh, about the Rebbe you'll see when the Rebbe has you know, Rebbe meets someone or talks to an individual a child a young man or older person when the Rebbe would talk to you you were the only man in the room Mm -hmm. He didn't say, oh, I'm a, this big person, I, I don't have time for you. When he would connect with that individual, that individual felt that he was the only individual he was speaking to. He famously said that on a birthday, when a person's born, what is God telling the world? God's telling the world that you are so important that the world cannot continue without you today. And that's the message if a person lives his life with that message, that every single day the world cannot continue with my good deeds, with my good influence. Imagine every second, we will count every single second, mm -hmm. It'll be, you know, 60 seconds in a minute, you know, so it's, you know, 6,000 seconds in an hour. You could do so much thing and you, you, you live your life in a very different way. He, he believed in the individual. He believed that every person had that power to influence others. So talk to me about June 14th, very special day here at the Bronx Jewish Center, you'll have an evening of inspiration. Yeah, so the Bronx Jewish Center will be host, uh, hosting an event at the Young Israel Pelham Parkway, 900 Pelham Parkway South. Um, there will be a speaker for uh, Rabbi Chaim Shol Brook, the director of Chabad of Montana, and he's a Brooklyn-born rabbi just like me, but mm -hmm. he decided to take out his show to, uh, uh, to Montana, a very far distant, con uh, very far distant uh, state, mm -hmm. and he goes and spreads, uh, spreads the good word, and he's going to speak about how he was inspired and how the Rebbe inspired him that he should not just sit back in Brooklyn and you know, enjoy you know, all, all the uh, luxuries that we have over here. Go out and bring and inspire others in these far out places. I think he has a beautiful story to tell because he doesn't have the convenience. He doesn't have kosher stores over there. He doesn't have anything, of, uh, any, any, anything that would, you know, a natural Jewish person would need and want. But he does it. Why? Because he has that message. He was inspired not just you know, to you know, look for yourself, look out for others and inspire others. And when you inspire others, you'll, you'll find out that it also inspires you and you, you become a greater and better person. So it's going to be taking place on June 14th at 6.30, Young Israel of Pelham Parkway. Uh, that's 900 Pelham Parkway South. You're invited to come on and share in an evening of inspiration, marking the 24th uh, anniversary of the passing of the Rebbe. And uh, we are glad to have you come in and share with us here today. What do you want to leave our uh, with our viewers with as a final note? I want to leave our viewers that the message that every person should think about that you are a very important person. You add so much to the world. And if you should live every single day with that message, that you're a vital part to our universe and you have something great to offer. And if you live with that message, the world will be a lot greater place. Have right, a good right, one. Good Thank you, you so much. Thank you so be much. Be well. All right. Stay right here. And we want you to stay right here. Taking a quick break. We got more show coming up. Don't go anywhere. Come right back right after this.